There are thousands of new developer roles posted online every day. So why is it so hard to get one? Here are nine tips on how to get a job as a web developer. Let's dive into it. Tip number one, optimize your resume. When your resume first gets reviewed, chances are it's being looked at by an ATS or applicant tracking system. These programs can do many different things, including scanning applicant resumes for keywords. There are two things you can do to help yourself out. First, look through the jobs you're applying to and identify the three to five most common keywords in the listing. Add those to your resume. The second thing is to make sure that you save your resume in a format that can be read by the software. Use something like JobScan to make sure that your resume is both human and machine readable. Tip number two, host at least three of your projects. Once you get past the machine, your application will be reviewed by real people. The first person will probably be a recruiter who doesn't have a ton of technical experience. To help them understand that you're an excellent candidate, host at least three of your projects online and add the links to your resume. Tip number three, build a portfolio a website. Even better than just linking your projects is creating a website to display them on. You can use your website to go into detail about both the project and yourself. Use this opportunity to show off some of your relevant accomplishments that couldn't fit on your resume. Tip number four, increase your GitHub commits. Once you get past the recruiter, you'll be referred to someone with some technical experience. This person will almost always look at your GitHub account. So make sure you have one and make sure you have lots of little green dots to show that you've been coding consistently over the past few months. Tip number five, apply, apply, apply. Some people apply to just two or three jobs a day and complain when they don't get any responses. When you're looking for a job in a competitive field like software, you need to swing a lot of times before you hit the ball. I'm talking 30 or more applications every day to jobs that are an exact match to your skill set for at least two weeks. Tip number six, follow up. Occasionally, you'll see a job that requests your resume via email. This is a golden opportunity because now you can follow up. Take advantage of it and reach out politely if you don't hear back. And if you're finding this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. Tip number seven, comb through LinkedIn. Nowadays, a lot of recruiters advertise their job postings on their LinkedIn pages, or they might have the hiring text over their picture. Politely and professionally reach out when you come across these people online. Even if they're not hiring for your role now, there's a good chance they will be in the future. Tip number eight, advertise yourself. Make sure that you optimize your own LinkedIn profile so that recruiters can find you. Put up that open to work flag, have a link to your resume and your portfolio, and a real hack is to set your job title to be the one that you wanna get. Tip number nine, practice, practice, practice. When you finally get to the technical interview, the final boss of this whole interview game, they're going to challenge your skills and your knowledge. Use your time leading up to your interview to prepare for this. Study your fundamentals, and if you're going for a back-end or full-stack position, make sure to solve a few medium to hard leak code problems. Sometimes it helps to do mock interviews to prepare yourself. If you're interested in scheduling one, use the link in the description below, I'll help you out. Need help with practicing? Check out the Learn to Code playlist right here, and I'll see you in the next one.